We're going to start with the past results. So it's five tournaments last week, four men's tournaments, one women's tournaments. Let's start with the results from last week. So here it is, Carlos Alcarez defeating Schwartzman in the final of the Rio Open. 6-4-6-2, he won his second title, the biggest title of his career. The second event was over in Delray Beach, and Nori got the win over Opelka, who's been on a bit of a hot streak the last couple of weeks, has Opelka, so great win there for Nori. 7-6-7-6, seven, six, seven, six. no surprise, a couple of tie breaks. We also had the Doha Open last week for the men, an ATP 250 event, which had Batista Agu winning against Basilashvili in the final 6-4-6-3. Uh, Very good win there for RBA. Going over to France now, and it was the Open 13 province in Marseille, and it was Rublev getting the win over Aliassim. We watched that match last night, or yesterday, or today, or whatever day it is. 7-5-7-6, uh, seven, seven, got the win in the end. It wouldn't, wasn't easy, but he got the win in the end, got some revenge over Aliassim, who beat him last week in Rotterdam. And the final tournament was the Dubai Championships, a WTA 500 event with Ostapenko getting a very convincing win over Kudamatova, 6-love, six, 6-4, six, and it was just a great week for Ostapenko. She beat Grand Slam champions every single, way, uh, every single round until the final. So here are the rankings for the women. Let's start with the overall rankings, which starts with Barty at the top. I mean, no surprise there. She's well and truly the best player in the world. Almost 3,000 points ahead of Sabalenka, who's at number two. Krejcikova at number three, uh, who lost a bunch of points last week because of the uh, the, the not-so-great result over in, in Doha, which she I think she made the final last year. Oh, sorry, in Dubai uh, last year. Then we've got Badosa. She goes up to number four with uh, Pushkova going down to number th number five. So there's a bit of a change there. Badosa goes up, Pushkova goes down. Also another change with uh, Contivate going down one spot, making way for Sakri, who goes up to number six. Contivate will go down number seven. Sviontek goes up to number eight. And Muguruza goes down two spots to number nine. Now that's because Muguruza failed to defend the points that she'd won last year at this time. So Muguruza has lost a lot of points over the last couple of months because of the Australian Open from 2020, uh, because of the tournaments that she won this time last year. So Muguruza has gone from three to nine in the space of about a month. So that's not great for Muguruza, but I guess the, the upside is that she doesn't have many points to lose over the next couple of months. So she, it's only upside from her. And then we've got uh, Jabor at number 10, rounding out the top 10 for this week. Over to the race to the finals. Uh, a couple of changes here. Uh, because of the results last week. Barty stays at number one with Collins at number two. Keys at number three. Sviontek at number four. Krejcikova at number five. But Ostapenko, she has rocketed into the finals uh, race or contention at number six. 13 spots higher than last week thanks to that final, uh, making that final, winning that tournament in Dubai. She's had a couple of good weeks. She also made a semi-final in Russia the week before. So she goes up to number six, pushes down Contivate to number seven. Badosa goes down to number eight. Halep is down at number nine, uh, stays at number nine again this week. And Kudamatova, she makes her way back uh, into the top ten. I think this time last year she was around that time. or well, maybe not this time last year, but it, last year at some point she was in the race to the finals. So she goes up 11 spots uh, in at number ten, rounding at the top ten for the race to the finals. Let's go over to the men's rankings now. And no change to the top ten for the men, despite few of those names playing this week. Uh, Djokovic, he's still number one in the world for now. We'll see what happens this time next week. Uh, Medvedev at number two. Uh, Zverev at number three. Sinti Pastil at number four. Uh, Rafa at number five. And that could, there could be a change next week if Rafa and Sinti Pass, uh, you know, battle it out for that number four spot. Uh, Berrettini, he stays at number six. Uh, then you've got Rublev at number seven, despite winning a title last week. He doesn't go up the ranks. Uh, Rud, he's at number eight. You've got FAA at number nine, and Yannick Sinner. He rounds out the top 10 for this week. Having a look at the race to the finals, there's a couple of changes here because of some of the results from last week. Uh, Rafa, still at number one because of the Australian Open win, uh, with Medvedev at number two. FAA at number three. Now, FAA has won more matches this year than anybody else on tour, so watch out for him. He's in great form despite losing yesterday. Uh, City Pass at number four. Berrettini at five. RBA, he's gone up two spots higher than last week thanks to winning Doha. He goes into number six. Diego Schwartzman, after a couple of finals in a couple of weeks, he's gone up to number seven, four spots higher than last week. Uh, Chapeau's gone down two spots because of those two guys going up the ranks, and so does Monfils. So both those guys drop a couple of spots. Uh, Chapeau at eight. Monfils at nine. And Alcarez, he's gone up 72 spots into the 10th position. So Carlos Alcarez at this stage, if we had the, w, uh, the ATB finals next week, he would be an alternate. So that is what we're looking at now. Elkarez, very impressive. 
over the last uh, week or so. Any surprises for you guys? I mean, uh, I sure, I'm sure a lot of you are asking, where is Serena? Where's Osaka? Uh, Naomi Osaka is still number 80 in the world, believe it or not. Uh, we also have Sophia Kennan at 89 in the world. <laughs> she actually went up one spot. Uh, and Serena's at like 250 in the world. So that's what we're dealing with. Uh, a lot of these champions are going to have to get... Uh, Gonna have to get wild cards to play these events. 241 Serena is.